Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Today I want to show you how to create a website with Bootstrap Studio and then publish it and do that all from scratch within 10 minutes. So let's start off creating a new design in Bootstrap Studio. I want a blank template. I'm going to call it Paul Seal um, Profile. Click on Create. I'm just going to add some standard things that you would have on a website. So I'm just going to say about me. I live in Derby. I have a watch. I don't like HTML tables. I don't eat organic food. Well, I do sometimes. I don't do it especially. I don't like flying. I have a mobile phone. Right, so that's about me. And then maybe we could have something a bit more of a header at the top. So header blue. Um, I suppose we could just have a simple navigation at the top. And just say Paul Seal. Um, leave those items in there. I might want to add extra pages or anything like that. So that's the about me part. Maybe I could have an image. Let's have a look for an image block. Right, so let's just see what we've got here. We'll leave the image. We'll stick a footer in, a basic footer at the bottom. Right, so this is my website. I could edit the content to my heart's content. I can add images in, new rows, all sorts of things like that. If you want to know a bit more about Bootstrap, have a look at my other video. I'll link to that at the end of this one. Um, but this is showing you how you can add all these things. These are pre-built things for you, but you can actually add extra things as well yourself. Again, I went over that in my other video. Um, but we're going to publish this now. Well, let's just preview it first of all. I'm going to hit save. Uh, save that and then let's go to preview so click on the preview button preview is disabled open in browser so here we go this is my website so I want to actually so it's all right playing about with bootstrap studio but I want to publish this website well I think there are publish options within bootstrap studio but I want to show you about how you can do that with Microsoft Azure and you can host it for free with them as well so let's close this. I'm just going to export, export options. I want it to go into a folder. So I'm going to call this um, Paul Seal. Oh, sorry, create a new folder called Paul Seal. Select folder and then I don't need to minify JavaScript or anything like that. I'll just click on export. That's going to put the whole website into that folder. And this will open that folder for me. By clicking on this, that's opened the folder. So here we are. This is my website. So as I was saying, I want to put that into Azure. Now what you can do is you can create a new website with Azure. So you can do new web and mobile, web app, call it Paul Seal. All right, and I've got to do this. Um, brilliant. So this is going to be paulseal.azurewebsites.net. Um, it's on my pay-as-you-go subscription. There is a tier on Azure, which basically allows you to host any simple web applications for free, and then you'll just have the URL being whatever your app name is, .azurewebsites.net. 
There are limitations to it, but something like this would be ideal for it. So a resource group, I use my existing resource, and that is App Services free resource that I created. I want to pin this to the dashboard, click on Create. So now that's just going to create that app service for me. And then once that's done, so it's deploying here, I need to tell it where my files are. So another cool thing, I think, yeah, I'm going to do this. All right, here we go. This is just bringing it up. That's it. So now we've got some deployment options. So deployment options. So it's going to say, where are you getting it from? Uh, so it can get it from these repositories. So one thing is you can link it up to GitHub. And then if you make a change to it, it'll pick up those changes and publish those for you. So let's just create a quick GitHub um, project for this. So I'm going to do a new repository called Paul Seal. I'm going to make it a public one. That means that it's free. If I do a private one, I need to have an account where I can that I pay a monthly fee. I think it's seven dollars a month, but I don't need to do that at the moment. Uh, add Git ignores for let's say HTML. Is there any? No, there's nothing for that. So I'm not sure about what Git ignores I need for a static site like this. So I'm not going to bother. And the license I will just do MIT, so anyone else can use it. And then I'll a demo for Bootstrap. Studio is my description. So that's going to create a repository for me. And then that's fine. So I've got GitHub uh, desktop in, included on my machine. So I can open this in desktop. And what that will do is it will launch GitHub for Windows. And then it will create the repository in the folder where I've asked it. So that will be in my GitHub folder within my documents. So now that it's done that, I can um, add files to that folder. So I've opened the folder that it created for me, and I'm also going to go to the folder that um, Bootstrap Studio created for me, and I'm going to paste in the files that it gave me. I've got assets and index, and in the assets is any images and styles and scripts, and the index is the page. So all I want to do now is just check that in to Git, and I can do that using um, GitHub Desktop. I can do it using the Git command line. I'm just going to do it like this, and I'm just going to say first commit. Commit all the things. So I'm going to commit that to master. So all the files that, are in, that I just added in have all gone uh, into Git. Now I want to sync that and that will then push it to my public repository so it'll take it from my machine and that those will now be on the repository that I created so if we refresh this we can see that we've got these on there so let's go back to Azure and we'll go github and then it will see that I'm logged in with github already so it doesn't need me to log in I can choose my project, so it's going to be Paul Seal. Choose my branch, which is master, and that's it. I'm just going to click OK. And then what it's going to do, it's going to take those files that I created in Bootstrap Studio, exported them to that folder, created a GitHub project, put the files from the Bootstrap folder into the GitHub project folder, committed it to GitHub, and then now it's got those files and it's created a website for me. So I should see a message if I go back to my dashboard. I should see a message about my app service and it should either be building or already be built. And I'll just be able to then view my site. So let's have a look. Here we go. So the site that I created in Bootstrap Studio is now live. That's how easy it was. I know there was a bit of GitHub configuration, but it wasn't much. I didn't have to do much. Um, I just thought I wanted. I just wanted to show you that and see how easy it was. Get something from Bootstrap out into the public really easily. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. I always try to uh, reply to every comment. 
Um, if you like the video, please click on like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ask me for any other videos that you're looking for. You know, I might be able to create a video about that certain topic. And I uh, look forward to creating more content for you. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.